What does a haystack have to do with digital PCR? Digital PCR is a great technology that will help you find the needle in the haystack. Scientists often refer to identification of rare mutation events or any other rare genetic events in the genome as finding the needle in the haystack. That's because most often these sequences that carry the rare mutation or any other rare genomic event is often diluted among hundreds or thousands fold higher number of wild type background sequences. It's especially challenging to detect that one single copy of a mutation in a dense pool of wild type copies of DNA. But I have good news. There is a solution to the problem, digital PCR. Digital PCR provides an unmatched sensitivity and precision when it comes to detecting rare mutation events or any other rare genetic variation. What's unique about digital PCR and the power of it comes from partitioning of the samples. By partitioning the sample into thousands of little individual reaction, digital PCR makes it possible to detect that one single copy of mutation. But there are other challenges when it comes to detecting rare mutation events in samples. Samples can be quite variable in terms of quality and quantity. There are also different sources of samples. Tissue biopsies, urine and stool samples, or blood samples are just few examples. Liquid biopsies are especially important. They provide a non-invasive, painless and practical samples to identify, to follow up, for example, mutations uh, in cancer patients. However, it's quite challenging to work with patient samples. They are often not homogeneous, they have very low amounts of DNA, and they can also have contaminants in the background. Extracting DNA from such samples requires tailored and gold standard methods to maximize insights from downstream analysis. Otherwise, it results in very low amounts of DNA and even lower amounts of mutant copies, which are challenging to analyze. Here, Kyocurity offers another solution, Hypervas. After PCR amplification, all the partitions are analyzed together as hypervals. By using hypervals, researchers do not waste any precious material and they can also determine the amount of mutation frequencies in the original samples more precisely. Thanks to digital PCR, researchers can now find answers to their needle in the haystack problems. Up next in DPCR, absolute not relative. DPCR statistics. Stay tuned. Kyogen. Sample to inside.